It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed. And now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you wanna be. And I can feel what you love. So we're all checked out of Italy. Yeah, at 5 a.m. You're right. Leaving at 5 a.m. to Albania tomorrow morning. And there's actually two other New Zealand boats that are doing the same trip as us. Yeah. But we're gonna stop at a little island in Greece. It's actually part way to Albania, so that we don't have to do such a long trip. Yeah. Especially after the one on the way here, I wanted to die. So my theory is that these big super yachts must park up here all the time. They probably always crash and kill these boats. There's one, that's another one. That looks upside down, doesn't it? Yeah. But well, there's a bit over here too. Look, there's one here. Look at there's one down there. Yeah. Oh, what? Why are they all sunk? But look at the one up here. Look at the sails all shredded on that one. It's like a boat graveyard. It is. Crazy, huh? Look at this one. Nice teak deck. Cool. Yeah, that's a bummer, isn't it? That's really sad, huh? But look, Brittany, there's a new one to add to the collection. So this super yacht here apparently hit it yesterday. Look at it. Look at that one there. It killed it. Look at the front of his bow. Like nothing ever happened. This is our last pizza in Italy. It's a big ass pizza too. Last oh. pizza in Italy. Let's bounce. Let's eat this pizza on the boat. 7.30 in the morning and we're leaving again. Oh no, but you know what? We didn't get much footage of it. I'm not gonna lie, we're pretty worn out from our travel. We just slept. Beating so we just slept. But I did go for a quick walk through there. And, it's really uh, cool. It's really cool. It's like a big nightlife and stuff. Yeah. Look at all the palm trees along the beach. You know, yeah. So we've got about eight hour sail ahead of us. So we're leaving the tip of Italy, which is Santa Maria di Luca. It's a really nice city. And uh, from the tip to this little Greek islands about you know eight hours. So we'll stop off there and then it's another four hours to Albania the next day. So um, we'll just anchor, sleep, get up in the morning and then keep going. And then at least then we'll get to Albania by lunchtime. Yeah. Which would be great. This is what sailing life does to you. My shorts don't fit me anymore. Very different feeling than our last sail. Now we're just cruising. Down to the ground, your dragon is constantly. No, I won't make a shot. I love the pain, it sets me free. It's wrong, I can't think right.
Jackson, don't be crazy. You can see our anchor chain. Goes all the way over there. It's like a little aquarium. We literally have no vegetables, so I made a chicken risotto with rocket on top and that's literally the extent of this meal and i just went for a swim checked the anchor and it was so cold i don't know what the hell is going on but greece you're freezing water but it's crystal clear and it's beautiful Ugh, i don't want to jump in i don't want it, any shrinkage <clears throat> Hold up to fog Hello, you two. Hey, buddy. Was it eerie coming back in the fog? Yeah, I couldn't see the boat. I just <laughs> guessed it, and luckily I That's guessed right. it right. But <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's scary. I got hiccups. It's scary because you can't see anything, and all you can hear is this doo doo doo, and then another boat doo doo doo, because obviously they're driving the fog, and I'm sitting there myself. Jesus Christ, well, they're coming straight into the harbour here and we're in the way. And then I'm thinking, oh my God, imagine if the ferry came now. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine the ferry trying to manoeuvre in there. So our chain, because there's been no wind last night, our chain, hopefully you can see it, goes down and then it actually wraps around a little rock and then goes off that way. So... It might just come straight up. I'll go forward like a meter and hopefully it might just lift up. It's crazy though, isn't it? Yeah, it's so clear. This is the clearest water we've seen. Tell us your- I'm gonna pull the snubber up and then when I do that, I'll tell you I'm good to go. And then you have to listen and do the wrap around. All right. Look at all the fish. I hope um, Albania, Montenegro and Croatia are as clear as this. For some reason I feel like there will be. All right, And that's how you untangle your anchor around a rock. There's Brittany's bum. So Brittany, Brittany's out on watch right now. Because we cannot see anything as we exit out of this little island and continue on to Albania. That's the reason I can hear a boat somewhere. So there's a little line over here that's moving. So that's someone that's leaving. So I've got to watch the radar here. Now I've got to watch our depths here. Depths are kind of all over the place. I might put our motoring light on. It's a bit eerie. We need to head out, so we're heading out in the fog. Luckily we have radar. But, <laughs> doesn't really give you much confidence. Especially when you can hear a boat off in the distance. 
but Ryan says it's driving away from us. You're supposed to be concentrating on the radar. Yeah. All right, we're out of the thick of the fog. It's still quite foggy up ahead. Oh, Jackson, what's wrong, buddy? Let's go back to bed. It's because the sun here and the sun's here, so he's got nowhere to lay. So he's trying to lay there in the shade. Poor little man. We have to buy him a new dog bed. And then we could like put it down here. Look at him. Jackson, are you alright buddy? Hey? So apparently I make a pretty mean porridge. But I think that's just Brittany's way of trying to make me cook. So she thinks she's the chef on board. Check out this shit. end result they just said yay and then they so you want your breakfast thank you oh it's so gooey are you right the banana that's very sticky yeah i know i actually eat cooked too long but you know what when i'm cooking that's what you get Unless it's a barbecue. If it's a barbecue, you get killer food. I'm good at barbecues. All right, Ryan's bringing down the Italian flag officially. Bring it down. Look how small the flag is that she sold me. So what flag yeah. is that? Canadian flag. Oh no. Maybe I'll just fly the yellow flag by itself because I don't want them to get pissed off that it's bigger than their Ryan flag. just... Put it on. just found something floating quite big so we're gonna try and pick it up just looks like some plastic or something maybe got my trusty boat hook oh it's like foam <laughs> oh my god what the hell it's bubble wrap what the hell? What's up? What's up? So basically all we've done here is we uh, emailed Sarande Summer Tours. There's a lady there who's meant to be quite helpful that we got from Noonsight. And a couple other people have referred us and Facebook groups, Med Sailing, we saw. Um, we emailed them, told them we were coming, told them who we were, and uh, they just said, all right, call us on Channel 11 when you get there. So I called the Saranda Port. It's this uh, Saranda Port, Saranda Port, this is Sunday, Sunday. They told us to contact our agent, just left it a few minutes, and then our agent ended up contacting us. So we didn't even have to call in again, they just contacted us. They said, pull into harbor, anchor with the other yachts, and to, uh, Call them when we're there. So that's what we're doing now. Sarande or Saranda in Albania. Apparently it's like Islam and stuff here, so I told Brittany she should probably put some conservative clothes on. So she threw these on. Trying to be conservative with her clothing. <laughs> Had her bikinis on before. I said, You gotta respect the culture. 
before we get there and everyone's wearing G-bangers and stuff and bikinis. Like and subscribe. <laughs> it's got air in my face. Ah, Jackson. Jackson says like and describe. Describe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> He's really heavy. He's tricking me. Uh, <laughs> like and <laughs>